There he is, holy cow. Wow! <laughs> Pull it in there. Hold on, little buddy. Here we go. What are we fishing for? Fishing for cat food. Big catfish? Yeah. Are they worth a lot of money? Yeah. And that's so. Just... This is Matthew with Out Fishing 13. We're out here on Utah Lake going after the mighty catfish. I'm here with my nephews um, and my brother Jared. And uh, so if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. YouTuber. Are you a YouTuber? Wow. I haven't made my first video yet. My well, first video is going to be about redstone. Nice. And that was an awesome intro, right? Uh. <laughs> yeah, I was right there, and everybody's coming by, and I'm catching this big catfish. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Yeah. No, I'll subscribe They've done a good job getting rid of the Phragmite along here. They burned it a bunch of the Phragmite. That's what the shoreline should look like. Okay, if you want to try a piece of octopus, that'd be great. No. It's about eight feet deep. That's all. So if you want to come stand right up here, up there, it's a good spot. There you go. Maybe if we're moving along, it'll keep the bugs out of our faces so much. But yeah, look at all the bugs on the water. You'd think there'd be a million little fish just gobbling them up. Big what? A gajillion? Well, it's tectillion. Oh, tectillion? Yeah. Is that a big number? You're just dragging in the mud there? It's yeah. Fish. You'll know when there's a big fish on there, it's going to yank hard. It's pretty big. We're in four feet of water. Fish or a no, it's a fish. Where is it going? Okay, there it is. That is a nice catfish. Oh. Sit, sit. There it is. No, just just let me bring it to you. It's it's hooked good. All right. <laughs> I agree. That's amazing. Nice. Wow, look at that big old fish. And it bought, bit on the, what did it bite on? It bought on that octopus? Yes. All right, nice. Well, that's a nice eating size too. Awesome. We've only been fishing for about 15 minutes. All right. Who wants to reel it in? You want to reel it in, Gideon? I bet Gabe wants to reel it in. Oh, Gabe? Yeah, come reel it in. Keep it tight on there. That's a really fast rod, so you don't have to crank really fast. There you go. Okay. 
Okay, when he gets over here close, lift up the tip of your rod really tall. And that's good. I don't think you're really... Okay. It's a big one. There, okay, there he is. Lift up the tip of your rod. Okay, a little bit farther. Ooh. Go over here a little bit closer to the edge of the boat. Okay, lift up your pole. There he is. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> okay, push the button. Push the button and let the line slack. There you go. Good job. Wow. Oh, what a monster. <laughs> what a amazing What do you think? Is that a battle? <laughs> After it started reeling, it started pulling. Yeah. It's a strong fish. All right. That's a big fish. Come here, Gideon. Oh, that's a big fat one here. Real. I see him over there. I see him. You have to get the net, um, Gabriel, and you can net him. Okay, there he is. Get ready to net him. Okay, net him. Oh, net him again. Don't put the net in, don't try to net him deep, down deep. Wait till he comes up the surface. Good job. Okay, we got to get a picture with that one. Hey, Gideon. Look over here. Yeah, look over here. Look at the camera. That's your million dollar fish. <laughs> All right, good job. Okay, so far we've caught uh, four really nice catfish all about 20, 21, 24 inches long. I just picked up the fourth one. Well, let's see if we can catch a few more before we go in. Nope. It bit though. Something bit pretty good. Something, huh? Did you enjoy that? Pick it up, Gabe. Catch it. Fish on. Straighten us up, Jared. Come over here on this side. Come over on the other side. Keep the tip of your pole up. Just come over here, back over here. Is it still on there? Okay. Just start reeling it. Keep the tip of your pole up a little bit more. There you go. Oh, nope, it came off. Yeah, just keep us trolling along, Jared. Seems like they're biting a little bit better with the boat moving along. All right, fish on, fish on. Lift up the front of your pole. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's a big fish. Just reel him in, just take your time. Keep your tip of your pole up a little bit. There you go. There it is, I see it. Wow, it's a big one. Be careful, whoa. Woohoo! We need to get a bigger net. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Holy cow. Okay, Looking, push the button. I think you got the biggest one. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Boy, that's a that's real dandy. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, keep putting along. Let's let's fish for a little bit longer. We've been getting a lot of bites. Croak him up, buddy. There's another fish. Come with, reel in with Uncle Matthew. Come here. Come reel in this big fish with me. Stand right. Coming in. It's a big one. Oh, it's a really big one. This is a kind of hard reel to reel in a big fish with because it's so fast. So it's not what you'd consider a strong, strong reel. Look at that pole bending. <laughs> You're doing a good job, little buddy. Whoa! This is a big fish. Are you going to catch the biggest fish of the day, Gideon? That's what I always used to say, Gideon. Little guy catches the big fish, and the big guy catches the little fish. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, get ready. Get ready, Dad. Here, hold it right up there. Here, hold this. Whoa! Holy oh, crud. <laughs> okay, but... You can't even hold the pole up, buddy. Yeah, here. I think that fish might be bigger than you. Here, hold it right there. Okay. Keep him coming. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> 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 this is a heavy fish. I think it's dragging. Okay. It's going to see the light. Oh, go. it's not that big, but... Okay, let me take it. Let me take it. Let me take it. Woohoo! Look how wide it is. Yeah, it's still a nice fish. Wow. Good job! All right, high five. Nice. a great time the little boys caught some fish and the big boys caught some fish let me show you what we caught I think we have either six or eight really nice big channel cat we'll take those home and flay them up I'll vacuum pack some to keep them for later but these sure make a really good fish tacos and uh, the last few that we caught were pretty quick and then the bite just stopped, but... Uh, the bait that worked the best was I caught one, <laughs> one white bass, and we flayed that up and used that for cut bait, and that seemed to really work well. So that's one of the, the secrets here, not really a secret, but one of the tricks here on Utah Lake is catch some white bass, put them in the freezer and use them for cut bait later. If you can catch some fresh ones right before you go fishing, those are even better. Or take a little pole and fish for some white bass and if you catch one cut it up right away and that really works good fresh bait always seems to work better than stink bait or old bait and uh, we caught our last four fish or so on nice fresh white bass cut bait anyways if you like the video make sure you give me a big thumbs up and click on the button or click on the button right over there thanks and have a great day